Instagram's Thailand taking on China. Sing Sang Pa taking on Shang Yizu. Here we are for the fifth bout of the morning right here at Fairtex Fight. The famed Lumpini Stadium in Bangkok, Thailand. Three rounds of action. The art of eight limbs at play here. China versus Thailand. China, of course, in the black corner. The blue trim shorts. Both athletes in the ring only 18 years of age, which is truly phenomenal. Wow, what a turn and sweep there from our Thai athlete, showing his clinch ability already. I mean, Sing Sang Pa is known to be a slick operator. He's got the moves and the grooves right here in center ring. And he's not afraid to throw down against heavy punches. His last three fighters were mostly Iranian. Uh, his last three bouts, sorry, were mostly Iranian fighters who were well known for their heavy handedness. So I don't think he's going to be phased by the likes of Zheng Yishao here. Big stiff jab, slips it, goes for the body lock and dumps him. And this is one of those things when you're in the ring and you're getting dumped, whilst it's not very physically taxing it is mentally taxing there's a bit of a drop of the mouth guard there from our our chinese athlete but just going on from that little thought a moment ago you know it's not very physically taxing but mentally taxing as you have to pick yourself up off the ca canvas and look at your enemy in the ring yeah, I couldn't agree with you more there, Joe. It's it's not something that any fighter, it's not a position any fighter wants to be in. Wow, the hands are flying there. What a quick exchange from both athletes. Attempted sweep from our athlete in the red corner, but didn't quite manage. Our Chinese athlete swinging in there with a big one-two. Wow, that was a fast exchange. Big left kick there from Sin Teng Pa. Catches the leg, follows up with the hands, not quite finding its mark. Brings the guard nice and high. I think he respects the punches of Sheng there. Sheng definitely does have a strong one too. That right hand is something to be uh, wary of. Ooh, nice stiff jab there from Sheng, following up with the teeth for the head. Looks like it might have phased Sing Sang Pa a little bit, but uh, Sing Sang Pa has been known to turn these things around. Whoa! Beautiful sweep there. Yeah, he caught that long knee and just managed to dump his opponent on the floor. Absolutely beautiful. Got a little bit of a warning because it was an underhook from the foot, but that's all right. We continue the action. Nice. Oh! Display of physical prowess there from... Yeah. Sing Sang Pa just bullying his opponent with that palm over the top. Big favourite of Eleanor. <laughs> Don't be telling everyone my tricks, Joe, because they'll be coming for me and figuring out how to get around it. But yeah, that was the fourth sweep, I think, there from our Thai athlete, showing absolute dominance in the clinch once again, knocking his opponent to the floor and landing on top, which is exactly the position you want to be, not underneath, because it will not show any strength. And again, a catch and dump. I think our Chinese athlete might have spent more time on the floor in this round. I was just going to say that. That is the end of the round. Cheng sent, spent more time on the canvas than actually fighting in that last round. <laughs> so we'll see if he can pick it up in the second round. Let's go and have a look at these replays. Call Sing Sam Pard the dump truck because that man has got more dumps than anything I've seen before. I had I had no pun for you, ladies and gentlemen. I had something planned, but it didn't quite work out. <laughs> it was a first time for everything. Joe Comerford lost for words. But I'll tell you what did work out was Sing Sam Pa's game plan showing who is a boss in center ring. Look at those exchanges. Follows up with the right kick. Beautiful display of levels there. Yeah, I was a little bit worried at the beginning for our Thai athlete. Those boxing exchanges were fast and powerful. But as we go into round two, let's see, let's see what happens. Let's see if he can turn it around. So here we are coming into round two of our fifth bout of the morning. 
a bit of blood it's trickling down the face of Sin Sang Pa there or a bit of redness just the timing on Sing Sang Pa is just so impeccable yeah he's, he's really using that catch and then either throw and body shot or just straight to the body shot and it's working beautifully great head movement as well Ooh, that was a powerful kick from Sing Sang Great utilization of that long guard as well. Just popping the jab out and then slipping the right hand of Shang. Yeah, it's a very good tactic to use against a strong boxer that. I think Shang's just having a bit of trouble reading the elusiveness of Sing Sang Pa here. He's getting a bit flustered. Sing Sang Pa has got brilliant head movement, like you say, Joe. He's evading those kicks and those punches and then firing back. Reminds me a little bit of Lord Silla, the electric eel on skateboard wheels, which was the official translation of his nickname. Our athlete in the blue corner holding onto the ropes there in the clinch. I don't think the referee quite saw that, but that's a sneaky little tactic. Oh, beautiful left knee to step it up there. Skips in, explodes in with the stabby knee, drags that head down. Yeah, I think Sing Sangpa is definitely the dominant of the two in the clinch with those knees and that face push. Really looks like he's just having a field day here, having a lot of fun in center ring. Does need to be careful though, those punches that want to. Oh! And again, onto the canvas for our Chinese athlete. What I was saying there is those punches from our Chinese athlete are strong, and if they do land, uh, he's managed to take the back and dump him on the floor. It's like this is a wrestling match. Is this WWE or Fairtex fight this morning? <laughs> the Undertaker. Call him the Undertaker because he's taking him away. Yeah. I mean, if I was Sing Sang Pat, I would definitely be just in the clinch, stabbing those knees and maybe trying to work those elbows because he is definitely dominating there. Oh, team to the face for our Chinese athlete. Zheng trying to turn things around here with that big side teeth to the face, but Sing Sang Pa remaining unfazed with his explosiveness, just reading all of Zheng's shots. Catches it, ducks the punch, locks on, and bullies him to the ground again. That is not a position that you want to be in. I think that Cheng Yichu needs to start working the outside a bit, using his range, using that flying tee that he did, because he does not want to be in the clinch. It's not a good position for him to be in. So that is the end of the second round of our fifth bout of the morning. If you were in uh, Sheng Yuzhu's corner, what would you be saying, Joe? Because I know exactly what I would be saying. I'd be saying utilize that tape offensively and try and take out the feet from underneath Sing Sang Pa. As hard as it is, go for the front leg, pepper that front leg, and take out the explosive power from Sing Sang Pa from underneath him. What would you be saying to him? Definitely start using your range. I mean, the best part of that round for him was that flying team. Do it again. Keep doing it. Just disrupt the rhythm of our Thai athlete who is having a field day in the clinch. So definitely I'd be saying stay away from the clinch. Use your long boxing, but do not engage in the clinch. So here we are coming into the third and final round. This is our fifth bout of the morning. Two very convincing rounds for Sing Sang Pa on my unofficial scorecard. Yeah, I agree with you there. I think that Shen Kyu will come out swinging in this one, looking for the KO shot like we have it there. Fast hands, always oh, lean back. He really could have done with follow it. Oh, spinning back fist. Could he be trying to turn things around here? He grabs onto the rope. He'll get a warning for that. Yeah, that is a sneaky little tactic there. I don't know if the referee's seen it, but it is the second time. Always oh, coming in with that flying teep offensively, Joe. Maybe he heard you in the corner. So here we are back in the center ring. We'll be exploding out of the gates, trying to disrupt the rhythm of Sing Sang Pa. And using those spinning attacks is always a dangerous one because it's a high risk, high reward 
Sparky's strategy. And as we just saw a moment ago, Sing Sampa took the back. Oh, nice bicep control there. And it tangos him to the ground. Tangos him. <laughs> That's brilliant. Those turns are working so beautifully. Obviously, Sheng who doesn't seem to have quite as much grounding and as much balance in the clinch. You can see he's on one foot there. He's, he's not grounded enough to stand strong and not be swept off his feet. I mean, I think Sing Sampar has been watching a lot of dancing with the stars here. He's just been showcasing beautiful ballroom dancing with those turns and sweeps really sweeping Zheng off his feet yeah Ooh. very impressive oh another attempt to turn and sweep there but didn't quite manage oh grabs on locks and stabs the knee through just throws him ragdolls him to the ground there yeah, Sing Sang Pai is demonstrating a phenomenal showcase of strength here against a taller athlete. His strength is really coming through. You can just see he's throwing him about almost. This is one of those things when you're a, a clincher or so adept in the clinch, you do eat a few punches on the way in, and it is a high risk versus high reward scenario, but it is really paying off for Mr. Sing Sang Pai in the red showcasing who is the slicker of the two and again he takes his opponent to the floor i really think that he needs to start being more grounded and standing on his feet and standing strong and not rush in with those hands and he might not find himself on the floor well he needs a hail mary out of the bag here to turn things around because he's as i said he spent more time on the canvas <laughs> than actually throwing shots at Sing Sang Pa here. Yeah, I'm not sure if he's going to be able to do it in the last 20 seconds. I think Sing Sang Pa knows he's got a comfortable win there. He evades those hands under the arms and locks in the clinch. He is using his IQ beautifully to stall his fighter. They're dumping him to the floor again. I think that could be 10 times now. Yeah, I've lost count, that's for sure. That is the end of the third and final round. We're going to have a look at the replays in just a moment, but my unofficial scorecard, I think Sing Sang Pa swept that win away. <laughs> there it is. Big heavy hands. I mean, Chen did a good job of trying to disrupt the rhythm, but not quite well enough against the slick and smooth Sing Sang Pa. Yeah, I'm so impressed with Sing Sang Pa. His composure and his strength for such a small 50 57 kilograms and his strength was unbelievable those stabbing knees his clinch work i actually i can take my hat off i think i'm going to be studying his fights in future he fights exactly how i want to a sure testament to a time ladies and gentlemen after the completion of all three rounds we go to the judges scorecards all three judges scored this about 29 28 He's a cow, he's a bad. He's a cow, he's a bad. He's a cow, he's a bad. For the winner in the red corner, Sing Sang Pa, Lu Bun Mei.